Exotic and erotic with that cocoa body. Wall Street to the project, stacking profit, but she fear nobody. Private party, shorty, hot to 40, it don't fit my Hey guys, body. welcome back to my channel. This is Michelle. If you are new, make sure you subscribe so you can join the Fit and Fabulous crew. And if you're one of my loyal subbies, welcome back, you guys. So today I'm gonna to talk to you about these box braids. Yeah, your girl went there. I tried box braids for the first time. Now, Diva Trez contacted me to review some crochet hair for them, and this is one of the braids that, or the hair that I selected, and there's a story behind it. I did not mean to select this hair, but uh, they had already shipped my order, so I was pretty much stuck with reviewing this hair. Um, because I thought the hair was already pre-braided, it was pre-looped, and I was going to be able to do my crochet slay. You guys know how, how I do. And I loved pre-looped crochet hair because you can put it in so fast. And when I went back to the side and I was looking at the hair again, I was like, oh my God, this is braiding hair. I've never used braiding hair before, so, oh gosh. But anyway, I am up for the challenge. You guys know I'm up for a challenge. I love to do some hair, so hey. And nothing beats a fail better than a try, so what the heck, I just went for it. So you guys, we're gonna get right into the tutorial. I'll show you exactly how I installed my box braids, and I'm gonna give you some tips, all the tips I learned along the way. But stay tuned to the end of the video, because I'm gonna actually give my full review of this hair. I'm using the Rua Pre-Stretch Braid. This is a three-time pack, so you get three bundles of hair in each pack. I chose it in the color 33, and this is what the hair looks like. So I want to give you a close-up so you can see uh, how the fiber, the texture of the fiber looks. And I love that this hair is already pre-stretched, so you don't have to fool with trying to feather the hair at the end. So that's pretty cool. So I just start by sectioning off the perimeter of my hair. I'm going to start with the perimeter in case I get tired and run out of time. I can just kind of pull the hair up in a ponytail. And uh, I'm going to start in the front to show you how I actually install the box braids. Now I'm applying some cream of nature edge control to mold the base of the braid. And I'm going to apply some dark and lovely cream glaze to the ends to uh, get the ends nice and smooth. And I'm going to show you how I install the box braids. To start the box braid, I have three strands of hair using my natural hair as one of the strands. And then you just braid as you normally would. Now it's better to go overhand, at least for me it was, because it's easier to grip your natural hair and get the box braid started. So you just have to kind of determine if going overhand or underhanded is going to be better for you. Um, but just choose whatever technique works for you. And I am just braiding like I normally would. And um, I borrow hair from the other strand, the uh, braiding hair, to make my strand of natural hair longer so I can continue the braid. And that's pretty much it, you guys. My pockets, don't ever ignore me, girl, that's all I need. Now let's get started. I was raised to my flicks, beat life in death, cold hearted, inked up like a cartridge. I'm marching, fire for starters, sharks in the water. And when I get to the end of the braid, I seal it with some nail glue so it won't come loose. And I'm going to show you in the back again because it's a little bit easier for you to see from this angle. And um, I just kind of sectioned off my hair by feel in the back and it seemed to work out fine. But again, I'm taking the three strands of hair and you can see where I just separated some of the braiding hair to add to my natural hair to create a longer strand. So you won't have lumps along your braid as you're borrowing hair from the braiding hair to add to your natural hair strands. You want to grab the hair that's flowing in the same direction as the, the direction that you're braiding your natural hair, if that makes any sense. And that will make sure there's a smooth transition. Wine and sip a fine dime on the table while she wine and... and I'm just showing you again how I use the cream of nature badge control to mold the base of my hair. And then I apply a little bit of the dark and lovely cream glaze to the rest of my natural hair strand so that I can smooth it out so it'll blend better with the braiding hair. And then I just add my braid in here to start the box braid. And I braid about two or three, maybe four pass-throughs before I start borrowing strands from the braiding hair to add to my natural hair. And you can see there my technique for separating the uh, braiding hair. And you just want to kind of pull through to make sure there aren't any tangles. And you can see how easily it is to separate this hair. This hair hardly tangled at all. It was really, really nice to work with. I, I, I really like this hair. Once you get the hang 
hang of this, you guys. Once you perfect your technique, it is so simple and so easy to do box braids. And hours later, I am finishing my last braid. Yes. So you can see I have a lot of gaps in my hair. This might be obvious, but when you have shaved sides, you wanna make your section smaller so you don't have these gaps and your finished look can be uh, a lot more fuller. I fix that by take, removing some of those braids in the front, maybe the first three or four rows and making one section into two. And that really, really helps save this look. And here I am using my pumice stone to get some of that dry nail glue off the tips of my fingers. I swear I could probably commit any crime I wanted to right now and get away with it because I swear I don't have any fingerprints. And then I just dip the end so the hair lies nice and flat. And you can see how much steam is coming from that water. Your water probably doesn't need to be that hot. But just make sure you have a towel draped around your neck so you can dry the braids and you don't burn yourself. So this is the hair here. This is Sensational Rua pre-layered braid. Now it says three times, so that means you get three packs of hair in each pack. Um, and this pack is $9.95. So I, I love that this hair is pre-layered, so I didn't have to take the extra step to try to pre-layer the hair. And it also says that um, this hair, so it's Connecolon Aquatex Fiber, so it's water repellent and fast drying. And um, so when I looked at the Sensational video, their advertising video for this hair, they basically promote this for wearings on a beach vacation because the water won't soak into the hair and weigh the hair down. So that's pretty cool for a beach vacation. So you guys, let me tell you this. So what I have decided to do was, since I had never done box, box sprays before, I had decided um, to do a straight crochet style with this hair. I've never done that before on my channel. And so I tested you know, my, my, my test strip with my flat iron just straightened beautifully. The hair was gorgeous when I got finished with it. And so I was like, okay, this is gonna work. And I crocheted the hair in and, uh, <laughs> and I didn't like the way it turned out. I'm gonna insert a picture here, but you can still see the knots. And when I tried to flat iron the hair, the first swipe through, the hair burned. And I didn't even really hold the flat iron down to the hair, but the hair burned, right? And so then I just went back through and kept trying to flat iron the hair. And the hair was just fighting against the flat iron. Now, <clears throat> in sensationals, you know, in their favor, in their defense, this hair, nowhere on this package does it say this hair is curling iron safe. Nowhere. That was my bright idea. Now, when it's hot water, set safe, right? And so I deduced from that that if you can set it with hot water, maybe it's okay with heat. And again, I did my test strip. Y'all, didn't work out. And the reason why I got the idea to do the straight crochet is that it says right here on the package, good for crochet braid. Easy and fast styling. So I'm thinking, okay, well, I could do some crochet braids with this. Uh, not so. Um, yeah, sensational kind of fooled me on that one. But you can roller set this hair. I did a test strip and it was really, really pretty on my test strip. But I wasn't for sure that I was going to be able to pull off uh, the box braid technique. But once I got into it and I got the swing of it, it was so much easier than I thought it was going to be. I was afraid for no reason. This is so simple to do. So the longest part is braiding the hair all the way to the ends, but you know, it wasn't a big deal because you know, I take the whole last season of Scandal and haven't washed it yet. So I put that in, watch my Scandal Marathon and just braided my hair. So it wasn't a big deal how long it took. I didn't have anything else to do. So it was perfect. So it was fine. And of course I highlighted with my gold hair jewelry and I love it. So this kind of is reminiscent of my last sponsor video I did for Diva Trust, um, the purple goddess faux locks. And I added a lot of jewels to that too. And that the hair was purple and I added the gold locks. So it kind of, you know, was reminiscent of the cues, my cute dogs. Yeah, that one was for my cute dogs. You can see from the video that initially I had a lot fewer braids in the front and I just didn't like all the wide gaps and it didn't have enough volume. You know, if you have the undercut, this is probably obvious, but you really need to make your section smaller so you don't have these wide gaps in your style. So I just ended up taking out some of the sections in the front and splitting those sections, splitting one section into two. And I did that probably in the first three rows, three or four rows up here. I probably need to do it in the back, but y'all, I'm not getting ready to do this hair over. I was not getting ready to do that, okay? Ain't nobody got time for that. 
Overall, I give this hair a 10. I really enjoyed working with this hair. So I love the color of it. Um, I love that it was practically tangle free. I love that you can hot water set the hair. And I think it's pretty cool, this Aquatex fiber, this Connectalon Aquatex fiber. So I'm gonna read to you what it says on the package um, because I think this is a selling point for the hair. So it's made with Aquatex fiber from Connectalon. It's water repellent. It's fast drying, which it is. So after I dipped it, um, it took, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes it's to, to completely dry. It's uh, light and soft, perfect for an active lifestyle. You guys know I work out every day. It's pre-stretched to save prep time, and it's pre-layered for a natural finish style. So yeah, this is the Sensational Rua pre-layer braid. Big shout out to Diva Trust for sending me this hair. I appreciate it so much. You guys, I have been wanting to do sponsored videos for the longest time, ever since I really, maybe I was six months into doing crochet braids and no companies ever contacted me. And then once the first company contacted me, the, the, the offers just came back to back to back to back. And I don't know what happened, but I can tell you this. One of my girlfriends, a really good friend said, do you, she asked me if I had a PO box so people could send me products to review. And at that time, I didn't. And as soon as I got my P.O. box, the offers to do sponsored videos just started flooding in. So it reminds me of something I think Steve Harvey said on his show, you know, God will not give you more if you aren't ready to accept it. So make sure you are setting up your life, your space, your mind, and your spirit to receive the blessings that you are asking God for. And as soon as you are ready to receive them, he will send them to you. All right, Bruce, thank you so much for watching my video today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, definitely give your girl some thumbs up if you like this video. Make sure you subscribe. You guys know how this works. My channel is growing. Thank you, Booze. I love you for that. And also share this video with your friends. I'll see you guys in my next video. Until then, stay beautiful, stay blessed, and make sure you get fit and stay fabulous.